Hi Virgo, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for August 2018. This month I laid out the five card rainbow tarot spread for you using the Hanson Roberts tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Virgo Sun, Virgo Ascendant, and Virgo Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, Virgo, now on to your August 2018 Psychic Tarot reading. The first card you have here today, Virgo, is the Magician. And the Magician is a card that's telling me for you that it's the card of the manifester. What you think about, you bring about. What's in the ethers, you can manifest into the physical reality. And you have all the tools in front of you with which to do it. Virgo, I feel like you're learning a lot of karmic lessons right now in August about control. And it, some of this has to do with you having to let go of some things so some things can come to you and manifest for you. So maybe you're holding on to things too tightly or you've had issues where you, get, you feel like you have to control everything or it's not going to work out in your favor. But karmically speaking, it's like you actually have to let go of some things here. Your will is stronger than most people. That's what my guides are telling me. You may have a misunderstanding between family members that breaks family members apart. This could have already occurred and you're just dealing with the aftermath and the situation uh, since. Or it can be coming up and getting ready to happen. You're going to be like the, uh, the referee. You're going to be the peacemaker or the person trying to settle everything or the referee. Be cautious of jumping to conclusions in August and be careful of mis... You might misunderstand what some people are saying to you, about you, or around you. And I'm going to say here, you know, Mercury is going to be retrograde uh, for a good part of August. So that is likely of a, a thing to happen. Misunderstandings, miscommunications, it's one of the many things Mercury can kick up and you are getting that here. I do see you kind of like relaxing and deciding you're gonna stop vying for power or control and relax and let things unfold naturally. I do see you actually coming to the point of like where you're gonna do that. At least you're gonna do it in August. You have a, you're going to have a hard time dealing with consternation among other people anyway because I feel like it's going to cause you a uh, general upset to your stomach, digestion, and intestinal system. So I feel like you're not going to want to be doing that anyway. Uh, you're going to be shying away from any, you know, altercations. So the next card you have here, uh, Virgo, is the King of Rods, and this is a fire sign male usually. And this would be either a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. This could also be you, uh, Virgo, if you have a rising sign or moon sign that is in fire. That is a fire sign. This is somebody you may have, feel like you've had it out with them. Like there's been too much said between the two of you. They may have said too much to you. It could go both ways. So I do feel like this is somebody that uh, you may have a little bit of a power struggle with or um, being at odds with, not seeing eye to eye. However, I do feel that they've been good to you in the past and they've always helped you out before. This could be a father, a father-in-law, a stepfather, someone like a father figure to you, an uncle. I really don't feel like it's a female. Sometimes these cards can come up as male or female. This really does feel like a male to me. You could have like bickering and complaining going on with this uh, King of Rods. They may be bickering and complaining at you. You may be bickering and complaining about them. You're not seeing eye to eye with them in August. One of you may have trouble hearing 
literally hearing, it may be a hearing issue, they may have it, you may have it, or you're just not hearing what each other are saying. It could be literally or figuratively. They may be trying to get, uh, like trying to pin you down about something, like get you to commit to something or like a job or to help them or, you know, I don't know. But I, I feel like you don't want to make that move. You don't want to make that commitment. And I feel like you're going to look at them like they have too much stop, go, stop, go, jerky, back and forth kind of uh, motion about what they're doing or how they're behaving. Like you're going to feel like, what are you, you know, you know, on the pot? Are you off the pot? What are you doing? Back and forth, back and forth. I get you feeling like that about the King of Rods. Ultimately, you will have peace and harmony between the two of you. I just don't feel like you're necessarily going to have that in August and maybe not even in September. The next card you have is the Three of Pentacles, and this is uh, expanding your craft, expanding your business, fine attention to detail and craftsmanship. You could be getting a raise, a promotion. You could be expanding your business in some way. You know, if you make anything or create anything, whether it's on uh, the Internet, a website, uh, doesn't matter what you make, I get you like you're hauling it out. You're displaying all your wares. You could be going to trade shows, fairs, festivals. You could be starting an online store and putting everything you have out online. Like, I, I get you, um, and if that those messages don't make sense to you, it could be something you're doing uh, creatively in some like interests that you have you could be just like really being extra creative uh, but for many of you I really do feel like this has to do with displaying your wares putting yourself out there putting your work out there for display for purchase for uh, and it could be objects and things that you make it could even be you know uh, getting accounts and clients also I see somebody coming in and trying to talk to you and tell you something or say something to you that rubs you the wrong way. And I feel like you may tell them to get lost, like you don't want to hear it. They might be crying the blues to you, or this person could be uh, super critical and uh, like picky uni about what you're doing. They may be micromanaging you. This could be a boss. Well, you wouldn't say get lost to a boss, but it could be somebody that just feels like they have the right to say things to you and you may feel like I don't want to hear what you're saying to me I you need to be quiet and get lost you feel like it's an intrusion on your space your efforts and you're I don't feel like you're really going to appreciate that don't be surprised if there aren't stipulations that come up around you in August and everybody wants to you to sign some kind of agreement or document um, or waiver like because I get stipulations stipulations everyone everybody wants you to sign some kind of an agreement so think carefully before you sign anything especially while Mars is retrograde Mercury's retrograde and we've got eclipses going on so I don't think I would sign anything until after August passes if you can help it you've got the three of rods next that's an excellent card this is success you waiting patiently for success to come in. You letting go of something so success can come to you. It can also mean you're getting ready to begin something that's going to be successful. I see you getting linked up with other people that are going to be bringing in business to you. You could be doing this on LinkedIn. This could be networking through other means, the Internet, Facebook, uh, or, you know, just other people like uh networking um, and I feel like this networking and getting linked up with other people is going to bring you either more clients more sales more business there's some things that you're going to hate to get rid of anything that's old shop worn out of date uh, or that you can't resurrect and do anything with like any old machinery equipment could even be furniture um, I see it's like you're almost like you hate to part with it, but I do see you getting rid of some things like that. For some of you, you're going to have a new relationship that's going to start up for you in the fall. Now, fall to me is 
end of September, October, November, uh, even part of December. So uh, it, that may be the same months whether you live in the U.S. or not, because I, to me that's what the fall is, those months. If you're single now, I'm going to tell you what, I feel like you will be very in tune with each other's needs and get intertwined with each other very fast. So that's definitely for you single or looking for love Virgos. You may be getting tired of doing like a lot of mundane chores and tasks in August. And you may feel like, you know what, I either need to hire an assistant or somebody to come in and help, like a cleaning person, uh, you know, an assistant. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But I see you doing all this, like, menial stuff. Or, like, maybe you have kids and you're going to start paying them to do it. Like, because I just see you doing all these mundane tasks and you're like, oh, my God, I'm so tired of doing these. And I don't really have time to do it. So you may start... Uh, you know, hiring somebody to do it. Maybe you have dogs and you don't, you want to hire a dog walker. You don't have time for yard work. You're going to hire somebody to do yard work. It's like hiring people to help you with mundane chores and tasks that you have, like you're burnt out from doing or you don't have time to do. Now, the last card here in your reading for August is the King of Swords. And this could be an air sign person, either being an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. That could be their sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. This could be you, Virgo, if you have a rising sign or moon sign. That's air. You could be going round and round in circles with this king of swords. You may be dickering, bickering. Okay, look, that came up again. You had a king you were doing that with before, this too. But I feel like you're going around in circles with them because you don't really, you're not really sure what it is exactly what they want or what they expect or what they expect of you. You may feel, again, you know, this could be the same person because it sounds very similar I get as the King of Rods. So this could be the rising or moon sign, and that could be their sun sign. I don't know, but I get you having a hard time communicating with them, having a hard time understanding what they want, uh, or and may feel like you're going round and round in circles with them in August, and you may feel like you're beating your head against a brick wall and dealing with them and however they're uh, behaving or what's going on with the two of you. Now... Keep in mind when these people cards come up, it can mean so many multiple people here that it, you may go, that doesn't make sense to me. Well, my guides are talking to many Virgos out there, so hopefully you can figure out who this is or watch your rising sign or your moon sign if this isn't making sense to you. They may want to do things differently than whatever they did before. If this is a spouse to you or a boss, it, it, it doesn't matter who it is. It could even be a friend that you hang out with a lot. I, I don't know, but I get like they, they want to change things up. They want to do things differently than before. And I don't really feel like you think what their idea is or what the, their plans are are necessarily the best. I feel like they're going to be very strongly trying to manipulate you or coerce you or get you to see their point of view in August and maybe even into September. I feel like you are going to be very hard, trying very hard to break them of what pattern they want to do. So I kind of feel like you're both doing the same things at each other. It's like almost like a battle of wills. And I'm going to say right here, I said it already for many of you, and I'm telling you, they really sounded similar. I feel like this is the same person. Don't be thrown that it's different uh, elements here of fire and air. I, this could be their sun sign. This could be their rising sign. I don't know, but they really seem very similar. So I hope this reading was of help to you, and I hope it made sense. I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate that. And please be sure to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you're interested in getting a continuation of this reading, Virgo, where I look into my crystal and give you additional predictions and messages from my spirit guides for August 2018, you can access these as usual by clicking on the link below this video in the description area called the Show More section, and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page 
for August 2018 psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac for download and purchase. You can also access these videos by going to my website www theluckymermaid.com and click on the videos tab and it should be the first series of videos listed and I'm very late in getting my links on uh, my website. I've had a lot of traveling back and forth between two locations. I've had changes with my children. There's been a lot of personal things going on with my uh, two sons affecting what I can do so I'm sorry that I've been delayed in getting the links on my website but I am trying to get things back in track. Uh, these eclipses and these retrogrades are affecting me too, just like they're affecting you. Um, the other thing I want to say, if you're interested in getting the special videos I recorded in July, which go up to six months out in time and even a little beyond on some of the signs, for the eclipse effects of these two eclipses in July, the one on the 12th and the one on the 27th. I did a seven card star tarot spread and it had a lot of information in it. Uh, you know, seven cards is going to hit a lot of areas. It hit uh, some interesting points. So if you're interested in getting those videos, that link is also below this video and also will be found on the videos page on my website. So, I hope you have an absolutely awesome August, Virgo, and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.